Hey everyone, it's Phil Jose 32 back again. This is 366 Days of Cards. And as a reminder, if you did or did not see my last video, I know a lot of you want these yellow rider backs. Well, you can pre get them right now. You can pre order them at illusionsdefined.co.uk. They also happen to have maiden backpacks coming in five different colors at least. You can pre-order them on there as well if you like the maiden backs or you want more colored decks. And they also have their own decks coming out, the Defined decks, a trilogy of decks, three decks in this Defined series of decks. And you can pre-order those on their website as well, though I'm not sure exactly what they look like. But they do have three different colors of them coming out. So definitely check that out, illusionsdefined.co.uk. And now I'm going to do a trick for you. Involves two, count them, two packets of cards. <clears throat> Both packets are now I'll show you that uh, both packets are set up ace, food king, as you can see right here. And if I just take this packet. Set it down, you see that this one is also a few king. So you can basically choose whichever one you want. Uh, Spectator, let's say they choose the yellow one because it looks interesting. They might think it's a gimmick deck or something like that. I didn't want to screw you up. But, anyways, this also, by the way, is Maloney Meets Marlow by Bill Malone. It's a great trick. It works better with two people, but I'm going to attempt it. By myself, anyway. So, spectators chosen the yellow pack. I've got the red one. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take it, I'm going to shuffle it up for them just a little bit. Just to make sure everything is fair, everything is mixed up. And now I'm going to do what is called the randomizer shuffle. I'm just going to deal down cards, and every now and then I will mix them up just like that. And now the spectator. They can do that in the south side they want as well. They can do a randomizer shuffle too. So let's say they do one. And now the spectator has the opportunity to do it again. So let's say, sir, we'll do it again. Oh, three cards. Lovely. Everything is randomized, mixed up. My deck is still. My deck is still ace on top and king on the bottom as you can see. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have you select a card from your pile. Let's say you like this one right here. Alright, let's see what it is. It is the free plug. And I'm going to take it, put it face up in the pack here exactly where it was removed from. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to have you flip over the top corner of your pile, and I'm going to see if we get a match. So you flip over your top corner, you get a 7. And I get, of course, an ace, right? But that's because I haven't done the magic. I just need to rub it on your card, and instantly, you guessed it. It turns into a 7. What's your next card? An ace. Yes, an ace. Next. Eight. You got it. Two. Nine. Three. Uh, sorry, ten. And I also get a ten. And look at this. Your next card, three of clubs. The one you selected is face up. Well, guess what? It's also face up in my pack. So I'll put those aside. What's your next card? Four. Yep. Jack. And I get, ooh, five. You know why? The magic's wearing off. I'll just rub it on there and instantly you get the jack. Five. Five. Queen. You guessed it. Six. Yep. And finally you have king and I have the king. And that is Maloney meets Marlow. And I'm going to do a little tutorial for you as well right now. 
Um, well, I'm acting on it for a time, uh, five minutes, so that's good. A lot of time. So what you want to do is take any set of cards, a sweet thing out of a pack, out of two packs actually. Make sure that the cards are the same suit. And it's important also to make sure that you're using two decks that have the same faces, otherwise they might notice a difference later on in one little move. Alright, so you got everything set up, Ace for King, Ace for King, Ace is on the top, King on the bottom. Now what you're going to do is you're going to select which package you want to use. So let's say I want to use the yellow one, I'm going to give the spectator the red one this time. Ah, I'll keep it the same. I'll take the red one, the spectator can get the yellow one. Yeah. This one, I'm not going to touch it. This one, I need to set it up a little bit. What I need to do, again, it's Ace for King. What you need to do is you need to sp spread through six cards and take them into your right hand, seven cards in your left hand. Now what you're going to do, is you're going to deal now, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and left. And now what you have is every card, oops, is alternating. There are king six, queen five, jack four, ten three, uh, two, eight, ace, and seven. As you can see, hopefully you can see that, but basically that's what you'll get. And then what you need to do is you need to reverse count the cards. Just like so. So that the seven is on top and the king is on the bottom. And now you're ready to go. All you have to do now is basically force this pack in on the spectator. Do whatever you like. Distance force or whatever. Just, you know, if you have them, you could say, you know, point to one of the piles or which color do you like best? And they're going to go, well, I like yellow. And say, okay, well, I'm going to take the yellow and you can take that one or whatever. But in this case, they're going to have the yellow. They like yellow, so they can have yellow. Or they can select, but either way, you got to do some kind of magician's force and force that packet on it because this one is set up for you. And they don't know what's set up a force. And actually, as I mentioned before, first of all, what you want to do is once you've done the setup, you want to take these cards, drop them on top of the other packet. You start off, you can spread the cards, just like that, sort of backs. Now you're going to take the cards face up, and so you got ace through king, and then once you get to this ace, you can sort of as a king here, but make sure you don't spread too far because you don't see it's not ace through king. If they see that, it's no good, so you want to make sure you only spread up as far as that king. It's okay if they see that because it matches this. And then once they do, see all this, take this out target, flip it over, set down the red cards. Or whichever ones are set up. And then so these ones are also ace for king. They shouldn't notice that you're showing the same cards twice. That's why it's important to use cards with the exact same face. Because if I use a rider back and a steampunk deck for a steampunk deck for instance, or a dragon back and a rider back, the faces are different. They're gonna notice you're showing them the same cards twice. And that's not what you want. <clears throat> so now, basically, you get them to select the packet. They select the other one. You get the red one. Or you use Magician's Force. Whatever you have to do. Make sure they get the one that's not set up. And now what you're going to do is you're going to do the exact same thing you did before. You're going to stuff off the cards by taking six and seven. And then dealing them out. Just like so. Of course the setup is reversed, so now you're going to do a randomizer shuffle to reverse the order. It looks like you're mixing up the cards, but you're not. All you're doing is dealing down cards, and every now and then you take a card, put the next one on top of it. Well, that's exactly the same as taking a card and putting the next one on top of it. So basically, when you're doing a randomizer shuffle, 
You have to steal it down the courts. But they won't notice. Unless they're clever, but they shouldn't notice. You do that, you can sell the cards are all mixed up. And I'll be like, yeah, they're all mixed up. And then you can let them do the randomizer shuffle. The only thing is, they can do this as much as they want, but they have to do it an odd number of times. If they do it an even number of times, like if they did it once more like this and they don't do it again, your order is not going to be right. It's going to be reversed. So if they only do it once more, then you say, well, if they don't do it an odd number of times, and you say, well, I'm going to just shuffle them up one more time just to make sure, and you make sure that you get that order. It's pretty simple, obviously. And now you are ready to go. And everything is going to everything is going to match. Now what you're going to do is you go for the cards, have them select any card they like. Let's say this one right here. And what you're going to do, what I did is I just kind of called it. But basically what you're going to do is, while we're looking at these cards, the four forms, you take this next card and move it to the bottom of the packet in the right hand. <clears throat> Alright, so they select four of clubs. And then you take this next card, move it over here. And I can take those legs and put it here, face up, and you're ready to go. And then you basically do some pattern, do whatever you like. But basically, one thing you want to do for sure is you, you do a double lift. You probably noticed they did a double lift, so I'm not going to deny it. You do a double lift, so the ace is still on top. Again, it's a double. But mine is kind of bad, so you've noticed. And then so there's a king on the bottom. Now they flip the top card. It's a seven. And you can do a double again. So it's the ace. And that you haven't done the magic yet. Take the top card, rub it. And it matches. Then there's the ace. The eight. Two. Then what, what I've seen him do, and I, I don't mind doing myself, is you get to a point and... It's easier when the spectators, you know, dealing down their own cards. But basically, you get to a point like this, and they go 10, and then you do a double lift. That's what I do, is a double lift. And you go, oh well, magic's wearing off. Flip it over, do the magic rub, and instantly it turns into the 10. It just makes it a little bit more, I don't know, it makes it a little bit better. It makes it look like it's not entirely set up or something like that. Then, what you're going to do is, as soon as they flip, this card, as soon as you see that face-up card, you're going to do a double lift. And so, you've got this card, the jack, and then the next card, their card, the four of clubs is face-up in their pack, it's also face-up in yours. So that's how you get the face-up card in your pack, is as soon as you see this card, oops, as soon as you see this four clubs, this face up card, you do a double lift. So you got that card, and instantly that one is face up. That is why you sift one card over in this packet when they take the selection. It's so that you can get the card positioned for a double lift. So you put that aside, keep going for the pack. And that's it. It's not that complicated. It's a great effect, and well, Bill Maloney is a, a great magician. If you've never seen this stuff, search it on YouTube, Bill Maloney, he's awesome, he's funny, he's got a unique way of doing card tricks with comedy mixed in there, and I really like his stuff, and I've actually ordered his Marlowe meets Maloney, or Maloney meets Marlowe DVD set, costing over 100 bucks, but it's 6 DVDs or something like that, and it's I'm really looking forward to it. Alright, that is what I have for today. Now, as far as 12 months of giveaways is concerned, because I just posted yesterday's video this morning, I didn't get around to it until this morning because uploading other stuff, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to select any cards today. But what I will do is tomorrow, I'm actually going to do two qualifications, so I'll probably select another card from the deck. And that way your chances are doubled, and that covers today and yesterday's video. 
and I'll do that tomorrow. So tomorrow, I'll be qualifying, doing a double qualification for this month's giveaway. All right, that's all I got for this time. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. I hope you liked the trick. I know it wasn't too good, but it works better if you got two people, obviously. And I don't, so that's what it is. That's what you get. I'll see you next time.